Today we're going to show you how to create a form for collecting and organizing your data using Excel 2016. This is important to know stuff, especially when working with a lot of data. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. In this exercise, we're going to use three values. First name, last name, and email. First, we have to set up the table headers. Here's how. Type the words first name in cell A1, last name in cell B1, and email in cell C1. Now select cells A1 through C1. Then go to the menu bar and click on Insert, and then Table. We could use a shortcut by pressing Control T, but we're going to use the Menu Insert option instead. Now check to make sure the data information is correct, then select the option My Table Has Headers, and then click OK. Now go to the menu bar again and click on Data. We want to find the Form button, but it's not there on the menu. So we'll have to create and add a Form button, and here's how you do that. Go to File and scroll down to the end and select Options. Now go down the General column on the left and select Customize Ri Ribbon. Then in the Choose Commands from section on the left, hit the down arrow and select Commands Not in the Ribbon. Now scroll down the box on the left and select the Option Form. Then click on New Group in the right column and the word New Group automatically appears on the list of data. Now click the Rename button and type in a new name. We're going to rename it Data Form. We can also add an icon if we want. Now click the Add button in the middle to add the Form option to the Data Form. Then click OK and the New Form button appears on the Data menu. Pretty cool stuff, right? Please remember to like this video and leave a comment after watching. We love your feedback. Now click on the Form button and a box for giving instructions to Excel appears. Fill in the first name. We're going to use my name, Rodney. Then fill in the last name. My last name is Davis. Now fill in my email, which is admin at burntolearn.com. Then click the New button to save the data, and Excel automatically moves to the next cell. So let's make another entry from our database with John Smith with an email of john at gmail.com. You can put in as many entries from your database as you want. If you want to edit the form, simply scroll to where you want to make the edit and type it in. If you want to delete something, just click the Delete button, then click OK, and it's deleted. Now you can create a data form anytime you need to collect and organize data from a database using Excel 2016. And you can review and practice the steps we showed you by clicking on the exercise file. Please remember to like this video, share it with friends, and leave a comment. And please subscribe to our channel so you can receive future videos automatically. Thanks so much for watching.